This is an XT1 wire strainer. Uh, it's a higher spec than the other wire strainers on the market. It's got an extra tooth for finer adjusting. It's got a lug on the side so you can go up to an existing fence and put it on and tighten it up. And the wire automatically diverts with this dual plane ramp there um, down onto the spool so it's not stuck up on the side. It's also got notches in the straps so when the clip comes over the pressure comes on that helps hold the strap in so in a horticultural use where machines hit things and put stress on it sometimes the straps can come off that'll hold the strap on and it's got a hole in the back so the wire can thread straight through so you can use it and for electric fencing you get one continuous wire. When you're fitting that XT1 to an existing wire flick the clip back take the lug that's on the side down to the bottom slot it on the wire put the clip back over just keep pressure on it and so it stays in that lug there get the ratchet handle and start cranking it up just keep cranking it to get enough tension on there Use the XT1 as an inline strainer, especially for electric fencing. You can thread the wire straight through, slide it along, and then tie off, leaving the wire slack enough so you get a good amount of wire going around the spool on the XT1. Once you've tied off, just need to put some downward pressure on it with the ratchet handle. It's heaps easier straining it up if you keep that pressure on and crank it up. As the traditional way of putting on a permanent wire strainer, which you can use the XT1 for as well, is to tie off on the back. So, just, um, you want to have a minimum of six tight loops on the back of it here. Six tight loops to a nice break on it. Need to leave, leave enough wire on there so you get a minimum of three full turns on the spool. So on a short strain, that's probably about the right amount. Some pliers and just bend the end on it. Hold so it's just facing slightly backwards and thread that through. Again, it's easier if you have some downward pressure on it while you're using it, and break it up. Just bring it till you get enough tension there. And it's good to have the wire sitting side by side there so it doesn't cross itself and tend to cut into itself.